In this video, I am going to explain two nerves that can be cause for headache. First nerve I am going to talk about is this one. This is greater occipital nerve. Greater occipital nerve. This nerve is from C2. Okay, then it goes up, 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 all the way up to top of head. This nerve is very important for headache, especially headache around posterior part of head and neck. Tightness of this nerve can be from tight neck muscles, head muscle, or shoulder girdle muscles, such as trapezius. Yeah, trapezius or sternocleidomastoid, which is here, let's see, S-C-M, sternocleidomastoid. Greater occipital nerve kind of passes between trapezius and sternocleidomastoid. There is space between these two muscles. So when these two muscles get tight, this can compress greater occipital nerve. Now, this tightness can lead to headache and neck pain around this area. Okay. Also, this nerve can be damaged from car accident or whiplash. You know, there is a lot of stress after a car accident and whiplash. That makes sense. Okay. Greater occipital nerve. I love this nerve because Working on this nerve can give huge effect for headache. Okay, let me move on to next nerve. Next one is this one. This is supraorbital nerve. Supraorbital nerve. This nerve is branch from trigeminal nerve. especially ophthalmic nerve. Ophthalmic nerve is from first branch of trigeminal nerve. Okay. Anyway, this nerve is from trigeminal nerve. Okay. And it goes all the way up to top of head. So if this nerve gets impingement or damaged, this can affect pain, numbness around this area. Interestingly, Trigeminal nerve innervates membrane inside of cranium, which is dura mater. Dura. So when trigeminal nerve gets damaged or tightness, that can give to headache. This is very, very interesting nerve. So this is supraorbital nerve from trigeminal nerve. Okay. So, I explained two nerves. Greater occipital nerve from C2 and supraorbital nerve from trigeminal. Okay? Now, if you look closely, there is kind of a connection between greater occipital nerve and supraorbital nerve. Actually, there is anastomosis around this area. Anastomosis means kind of a, a intersection between nerves. So that means they are very close each other on top part of head. So when you have tightness around this area and if your greater occipital nerve gets impingement, that can create tension around the nerve, around the nerve, around the nerve, then this tension can connect to supraorbital nerve because there is anastomosis connection here. Vice versa, when you have damage here, maybe you got a car accident, then you have damage on supraorbital nerve. This can lead pain, pain, numbness, 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 then this can lead to pain around this area via greater occipital nerve. 
So these two nerves connection is very important for headache. You know, headache is very complicated symptoms. Maybe headache can be from a uh, subarachnoid hemorrhage. Maybe that can be from a uh, brain tumor. You know, many things can create headache. However, one of cause can be from this nervous tissue connection. This is very, very important and common cause for headache. This is just my personal opinion, but this is important connection. So I explained one cause that can lead to headache. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.